These are now empty boxes from only a few months of being prescribed subsists, at least for Jeff Buckhalter. The Marylander is an Iraq war veteran injured after multiple IED explosions. After trying other painkillers, his doctor prescribed him the powerful fentanyl spray meant for breakthrough cancer pain. But the complaint he files alleges his treatment and prescription of subsists increased in dosage, amount, and frequency over a period of four years until he ultimately became addicted. At its height, he was taking close to 32,000 micrograms per day. That's the equivalent of taking approximately a gram of heroin every single day. But it's not just the amount prescribed that's in question, it's the motive. Insys, the company behind the drug, is at the center of a federal indictment, leading to the arrest of former top employees, including their CEO back in December 2016. The company allegedly bribed practitioners, and in exchange for those bribes and kickbacks, the practitioners wrote large numbers of fentanyl spray prescriptions, most often for patients who did not have cancer. They've pleaded not guilty. But when I actually started you know, getting into the facts of this case, you kind of sort of sit back and say, is this real? For now, their allegations, and Buckhalter's complaint alleges similar charges against his Annapolis-based doctor. Both the doctor and Insys filed motions to dismiss the charges, and both of them were denied by an Anne Arundel County judge in May. In a statement to NBC News, Insys said in part, We continue to emphasize ethical behavior within our organization and pursue opportunities to illustrate that our company's mission is to put patients first. The Buckholter's lawyers say that's not the case. For a company to be behaving in this manner, you can't put it into words. And sources at the FBI say they're not aware of any new Maryland complaints, but we're just learning that a former manager at Insys pleaded guilty to wire fraud conspiracy just this week in a case being filed out of Massachusetts. Live in the studio, Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.